anything about me knows that Woody Allen is my everything. So it pleases me to tell you that to roam with love is stellar. Now I know Woody has had something to prove in these past years, and this movie does just that. To Roam With Love doses you with classic Woody Allen humor while maintaining an interesting and surprisingly engaging storyline. Popularly labeled a kaleidoscope film, To Roam With Love follows a few different characters in their experiences, experiences in the ever-enchanting Rome. Jesse Eisenberg, Alec Baldwin, Ellen Page, Greta Gerwig, Woody Allen, Penelope Cruz, and so many more amazing actors graced this film, but the real standouts were the otherwise unknown Italian actors. The most exhilarating thing about this movie is getting to watch my one and only Woody Allen act again. Seeing him on screen is such a delight. Another critic who doesn't especially love Woody Allen, certainly not to the extent that I do, leaned to me and said, Seeing him on screen is really special, Beautiful, and it is just that. Sexual. It's something else. This film is beautifully crafted, iconically written, and a little bit magical. I can't say much about the story because I don't want to ruin any intense surprises, but I think I've done all I can do to say, please see this movie. If you're not a fan of Woody Allen, let To Roam With Love change your mind. Now enough of this love letter. To Roam With Love is, without a doubt, worth the price of admission. So what did you think? Oh my gosh, I I love this movie. There was there's so much going on in it, but I love I love that in a movie mm -hmm. where it's like little relationships here and going back and forth. And then it was like even like an hour after I'd left the movie, I was still being like, oh, that's what that the point of that was. Absolutely. Like, I mean, yeah, I love that. I love that he's sticking to this. I mean, Woody Allen's movies have always been sort of magical, mm -hmm. you know, like he breaks the fourth wall and he. He does stuff like that, but you know, in, in these past couple of years, like with Midnight in Paris and with this new film, he like okay. he he ups the the magic of mm -hmm. it and makes it you know it's it's not it doesn't seem real, but it it the sentiment is real. Yeah. You know, it's so. God, I love him so much. <laughs> it hurts so much. See, it, and it was cool seeing him in the movie because mm -hmm. I feel like seeing him on screen because he's like a real elusive guy, doesn't really go anywhere. Right. I feel like seeing him on screen and kind of play himself a little bit, like Always, kind of yeah. neurotic. Yeah. It's kind of like a little secret gem. It's just, and so when yeah. you saw it, you were like, oh, he's there, it's there just he nice is. to know that he's still alive. That he's you still know. alive, yeah, because he alive doesn't show well. up to anything. Right, right. Well, which Woody Allen style do you prefer? Are you more of an Annie Hall or to Rome with Love? Let us know on our YouTube channel, The Price of Admission.